so guys um this is the resting place of uh senator chief senator todd js taka just to show you so come remember you're watching i am too 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 bushy but This is not the first time I'm coming here, so I've been here before and you can see the pictures. Just have a look. It's a little bit rusty. It's a little bit rusty. This is where the legend slips. Influence the creation of the, what we have, at the ideology called the Middle Belt. This is where the senator sleeps. You're watching Ayatu to TV. Be kind enough to subscribe, please. It's a little bit dirty and rusty, but all of this architecture you're seeing is a tomb. It's quite large. Everything you're seeing here is just for this grave. It's the resting place of Chief Senator J.S. Taka. And it feels really it's a large space. The entire fence is fenced, is large, and it's cool. Jess Tucker was a fundamentalist. He died in the year 1980. He died 10 years before I was born. But his legend lives on. So this is his resting place. It's a palace. All of this is geared just towards the senators. There's a football field here. There's, a, there's an ate. But what the tea people call ate here. And every evening, young people come here to play football, as you can see over there. They come to play football. And this is an ate, it's a resting place for young people and it's a vast piece of land but over there is another and then at that point is where his coffin was placed before he was buried but generally the entire roofing style what you're seeing there is the tomb for senator J.S. Taka a fundamentalist and an influential politician in Benue State and Nigeria as a whole in the 1970s, 1960s and this is his resting place.